Hello, hello. Tied up with uh, thinking about our salvation being based on faith. A uh, group at work were reading through Luke and got through chapter 24, the final chapter. And that is where, part where two men are walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus and Jesus appears to them and they don't know who he is and he tells them the story and tells them all about the scripture from beginning to end and how everything points to what's happened <clears throat> and he finally reveals himself and then disappears and they run back to the apostles in Jerusalem and say guess what happened and it seems like from the way I read it that the apostles still didn't quite believe that Jesus had appeared. Jesus appears to all of them and uh, gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb, and he took it and ate it. And he said, these are the words that I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all the things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. He opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with the power of the Han High, so as to own the way for the gospel. The point here is that he says that Scripture has been fulfilled, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning in Jerusalem. What he's saying is that repentance, which is the reversal of sins, remission, which is the subsiding of sins is preached in his name and he doesn't say go tell everybody to um, go out and be kind unto others and do these things and then they will be sinless it says that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in his name Jesus came and gave his life for us so that our sins could be forgiven there is no other way to get rid of your sins. All of these laws that have been handed down through time are reminders that we are sinners and that we can't do anything for ourselves. If we are faithful under the word, our roots of our faith will help us grow the flowers of our faith, the fruits of our faith, which are good works. But again, faith <clears throat> without works is dead. The same as looking out into an orchard and you see a tree that's not bearing fruit when all the others are. That tree is dead. The orchard tender is going to take that tree out and replace it with another one that will produce good fruit. It's up to us to go out <clears throat> and use our fruits to nourish others so that they can have strong roots and they can produce fruit. That's what we're called to do. We are called to preach the gospel. We have to do that. I challenge everyone that if your faith is not such that you can go out and preach your faith, then you're not really a Christian. You're not doing what Christ asked. You're not following Christ. So think about that. Be a Christian. Be what Christ asked us to be. Be a student of Christ, a disciple of Christ. Learn from Christ and go do as Christ did. We have got to do this. It's imperative in the world today. We have got to preach the gospel. We have got to be steadfast in the gospel. This is the main part of it, that we have to have faith in Jesus. This is the gospel. The gospel is Jesus died, gave his body for our sins. End of story, there is nothing else. His blood is the promise that God gave us that everything will be right if we have faith in Jesus. That's it. That's all there is. We got to do it. So let's get out there and, and preach some gospel. Let's have faith in Christ. Remember, just have faith. Just believe. 
you don't believe, just hold on. Remember what I said yesterday? Don't get mad at God and quit God. God will give you what you need in your time. Amen. Peace and blessings to all. And remember that whatever happens in life, it's hallelujah anyway.